Oxygen Tablets, a magical product that is in solid tablet form and generates oxygen whenever required. You just need to dump some of this tablet into the water and you have saved your fishes from dying whenever dissolved oxygen gets reduced in the ponds or in aquariums. But is it too good to be true? And what are the side effects of these products? And the more important question is that would you use it for your pond or aquarium and when and how to use it. The dissolved oxygen is vital for the health of the aquatic life. Fish rely on oxygen dissolved in water to survive. Insufficient dissolved oxygen can lead to death of all the fishes in your tanks, ponds or an aquarium. A dissolved oxygen level of 6 ppm or 6 mg of oxygen per liter should be present for healthy growth of fishes. But due to various reasons, the dissolved oxygen gets reduced in the water and poses danger to fishes. Have you ever noticed a fish gasping at the water surface, desperately seeking oxygen through rapid movement of their mouth? This is a clear sign of low dissolved oxygen in the water. When the dissolved oxygen drops in the water, it's a race against time to save your fishes. Nature maintains the ecosystem and provides natural solutions for maintaining oxygen levels in the ponds without artificial aeration. During the day, green algae, those tiny superheroes, liberate oxygen through photosynthesis under the presence of sunlight. However, in nighttime, this green algae uses the oxygen, but the given oxygen during the daytime is much greater than oxygen taken during the nighttime. This becomes problematic when sunlight is absent for a long time during winter causing photosynthesis to stop and thus decreasing the dissolved oxygen in water. Due to other several conditions also, the dissolved oxygen in the water gets reduced. To increase the DO or dissolved oxygen, several methods are there like cascading and sprinkling water, diffusing air or chemically through the use of oxygen tablets. The basic concept to increase DO is doing aeration which is mixing air with water. The oxygen tablets, the magical solution that revives oxygen level in the water. But what's the secret behind it? The oxygen tablets are basically a power form of sodium perchlorate or SPC. This is hydrogen peroxide and sodium carbonate existing together in the form of white powder form and available in the form of tablets. These tablets sink to the bottom of water so that maximum water comes into contact with oxygen and slowly raising the dissolved oxygen levels of water. The sodium perchlorate is a white powder that is the combination of hydrogen peroxide and sodium carbonate which generates oxygen gas as it slowly decomposes in water. Hydrogen peroxide is the main component of this tablet that also acts as a bleaching agent and is acidic in nature, while sodium carbonate balances acidity and also gives alkalinity to water, thus maintaining the pH balance. Apart from using SPC as oxygen tablets, the main use of this sodium perchlorate is for laundry detergent, which is rather surprising as detergent used in water to protect feces that sound weird. The sodium perchlorate is a bleaching agent that removes stains from clothes and is used widely. The bleaching agent in the sodium perchlorate is a hydrogen peroxide that has bleaching and antiseptic properties. We only exploit this readily available oxygen from this detergent tablet in aquaculture. Excessive use of these tablets can harm the delicate ecosystem by killing natural algae and useful bacteria, thus disrupting the delicate balance. So the SPC should be used in the case of emergencies such as power failure or during transportation of feces, as in moderate concentrations it is harmless to feces. As per many studies, the lethal concentration of hydrogen peroxide for feces is near to 70 mg per liter or 70 ppm that is way way beyond the dose that we use. More than is used to provide oxygen, which is used for algal control. Mostly, the dose used for algal control is generally less than 10 mg per liter or 10 ppm. When it comes to environmental impact, the oxygen tablets has very less negative impact on the environment. The hydrogen peroxide can only remain in water for a few days before decomposing fully to the water and oxygen. They leave no toxic residues, only decomposing into water, oxygen and carbonate alkalinity and is safe in small concentration. Oxygen tablets should not be your primary solution for maintaining oxygen levels in large ponds or lakes and 
other mechanical and natural aeration methods will be preferred. For large ponds, the focus will be on reducing pollution and introducing aquatic plants that naturally provide dissolved oxygen while regulating the nutrient levels in the water. You should generally avoid using this product in larger quantities and in large ponds because it will be a waste of your money as it will not be effective. Oxygen tablets have very long shelf life and only provide quick fix to low dissolved oxygen. It will be used only in emergency situation and combined with other aeration techniques as well. To see how oxygen tablets does the work and how it increases the dissolved oxygen, watch this video.